Houston on two. I've got a question about Starliner. Houston's with you, Butch. Go ahead. Uh, the, there's a strange noise coming through the speaker, and I didn't know if you could connect into the Starliner and let me uh, keep mic and let you hear. I don't, I don't know what, what's making it, but uh, I don't know if it's something that's maybe connected uh, between here and there, making that happen. But uh, anyway, can you do that? We can configure that, Butch. Give us a minute, and I'll call you back when it's ready. Okay. Station Houston on two. We're configured for audio via Hardline and CST. If you want to give us a call. Okay, I'm in. Uh, I'm in Starliner. And how do you read? Five by five. How many? Okay, I'm gonna put the mic up next to the speaker. Copy. Hear that? At negative, Butch. We did not hear anything. That. All right, Butch. That one came through. It was kind of like a pulsing noise, almost like a. Sonar ping. Yeah, I'll do it one more time and I'll you scratch your head to see if you can figure out what's going on. Here we go. All right, over to you. How was that? Uh, you figure it out? Yep, good recording. Thanks, Butch. We will pass it on to the team and let you know what we find. And Butch, just to be make sure I'm on the same page, this is emanating from the speaker in Starliner. You don't notice anything else, uh, any other noises, any other weird configs in there? Okay, thank you. Well, uh, so I'll, I'll kind of go through just mentally the, all the orgs we pulled. Um, we unofficially uh, asked the opinion of the NASA Engineering, NASA Engineering and Safety Center, the Flight Operations Directorate, uh, the Division Director for ISS and uh, Commercial LEO Development uh, at uh, NASA Headquarters, the ISS program, the uh, Commercial Crew program, the uh, Engineering Technical Authority, uh, the uh, Crew Health and Medical Technical Authority, Safety and Mission Assurance Technical Authority, um, let's see, who else did I leave out? All the center directors yeah. from Stennis, Marshall, uh, JSC, um, <clears throat> and Kennedy Space Center where the commercial crew program is officially based. Um, anybody I missed on that list? I think you got just about everybody. Yeah. yeah, I think that I get everybody. And that was, and that was again, all, everybody concurred uh, with proceeding uncrewed. And they stated where they might have one or two people uh, during our meeting uh, that uh, that had a different opinion and tried to give those folks an opportunity to talk to the group. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. After years of delays, and Boeing has off. finally Starliner launched two NASA five. astronauts to the International Space the Station American on its Starliner Heroes. spacecraft. Starliner the, stars the launch of Boeing CST's 100 Starliner marks not just the first time the spacecraft has carried astronauts, but also the first crewed launch of the Atlas V, a vehicle approaching its retirement. The capsule lifted off atop an Atlas V rocket at Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Astronauts Barry Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams are piloting the Starliner on its inaugural crewed flight, a crucial final test before NASA can authorize Boeing to conduct routine flights to and from the space station for the agency.